Yes, I uh, greetings my people. Welcome back again to the channel. They call me One Drop Entertainment. And today I feel a little bit lazy, lazy, lazy. So what are, what we are going today is uh, to do today is uh, we are going to the market, uh, buy some food, and we can come and cook food at uh, the place we are staying in. But at the moment, I want to wait for a bike so it can take me to the market because here you don't we don't have ubers and uh, no bolt so the thing uh, you can only take is a bicycle so let me then we go yes let me stop one bicycle then we go hey my friend How are you? I want to go to Sungui market. How much? 300. 300. Okay, let's go. So this is the bicycle. They use it for... And you ride carefully. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to tell him to ride very carefully. I don't want him to fall, to fall down on a bicycle. <laughs> So riding a bicycle, you ride every day? Yeah. And how much do you make in a day? So it's 700. 70,000. Quatch. Yeah. Oh, that's too much money. <laughs> 70,000 quatch is like, uh, let me see, let me see. It's like uh, $30, right? Yeah. Yeah, going very fast. I think maybe the speed is uh, 50, 40 kilometer per hour. <laughs> so how, how long have you been riding a bicycle? How many years? 20? So no, no other jobs here only? You know in my place you don't have bicycle like this one like uh, taxis. I'm from Kenya. Yeah, Nairobi. Yeah. Have you ever been to Nairobi? Nairobi? Yeah. When? <laughs> so yeah, people don't speak that English that much. So that sometimes it's like a kind of like language barrier. And we are heading to Sungwe Market. Sungwe Market. Yeah. On a mot uh, motorcycle. Uh, not a motorcycle, a bicycle. On a bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your president today went to Kenya. Yeah, okay. I was just checking the news. Okay. What is your president's name? Name is Richard. Richard? Yeah. And in Malawi, how many tribes do you have in Malawi? You know in Kenya we have 45 tribes. 45? Yeah, how many in Malawi? Malawi is 35. Sorry? 30. 30? Yeah. Oh, 3 0. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but Malawi is very small. 3 <laughs> 0, right? So we are cruising nice and easy, so you don't get tired, or you are used to. <laughs> hey, this guy. Lilongwe, Sungwe. So this area is known as Sungwe. 25A. So in Malawi, you have like a, uh, you are divided like a sections. The whole country, all just only in Lilongwe. Hello, you see that guy is passing you, <laughs> but don't go fast, okay? That is okay. That speed is okay for me. <laughs> hmm?
Malawi. Sungui. Do you know where I can watch? Uh, I want to watch Arsenal and uh, Tottenham game. Uh, you know, Arsenal, Arsenal today is playing uh, Tottenham. And I watch to, or I want to watch the match. Do you know where I can watch see the game? Uh, Sorry? Oh my god. There's a language barrier here, guys. Not everyone speaks English. I want a butchery. You know where is a butchery? CBM stores. So this is known as Sungwe Market. Oh, butcher is just outside. Oh, yeah. this is, guys, that the butchery is not like in Kenya. <laughs> Kenya, if you pull neck like this, they would arrest you. <laughs> so, guys, I'm in the market uh, buying beef, uh, meat, and this is how they sell just outside. This how they said is another butchery over there, another butchery over there. So this is a uh, half a kilo. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Can you cut for me, please? Oh. Small pieces. Like yeah, yeah. And beef is how much? 5,000 package. Why beef is cheap than goat? <laughs> and intestines? This intestines, how much? 4,000. You don't have a chopping board. Chopping board. Like some a wood to cut the meat is machine. No, like you need to have like a wood like this, so you, it's very fast to cut the meat. No, no, <laughs> like this one for cutting meat very fast. Yes. <laughs> So this uh, meat you finish one day or how many days? How long does it take to finish? Maybe two days or two days. Yeah, so you, you guys make money. So you say three thousand. So guys, we are buying ugali. Flow means flow. We go cook ugali. Yeah. Eight hundred grams, nine hundred and forty. 
Yeah, but that's okay. This is uh, Sima? Yeah. Okay. We call it Sima in Kenya, we call it Ugali. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are done. I need a uh, tomato and onion. Someone will not steal your bike? <laughs> oh, so this guy is much too much helpful for me. Tomato yeah. and uh, onion. We go make ugali. <laughs> so this is Sungwi Market. This is uh, what? Spinach? Yeah. And the tomato onion. Sungwi market. Yeah, this tomato. Uh, this looks good. How much here? These ones? 500, 1000, 3000, 6000. Okay, check the best ones. Put here. Just put here, put here. Yeah. No, 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 those ones, no good. Those ones, no good. Eh, very. Okay. That is 500. Three only? Okay. Three five hundred? Yeah. Very expensive. <laughs> okay, that's enough. The three hundred. So this is a three hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. Where's five hundred here? Guys, I need the uh, spinach, so I'm taking this one is 200, 300, uh, so this is 600. And onion, how much? Uh, 300, 500, 4,000, 1,000. One, how much? Like this? 300. One? Yes. 300? 300, 4. 4, 300. I, 4, 1,000. 1,000, uh, 4, 1, 1, only. Three, yes. three onion, how much? <laughs> okay, one. Each is 300. Oh, each 300 like this. Yeah. Oh. So if you take four, yeah. you say one thousand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a, you are confusing me. <laughs> you are confusing me. <laughs> okay, I take uh, this one. One is enough because only cooking today. And uh, this is the Dania. 200. 200. This we call Dania. Coriander. Coriander. Yeah. And that is masala. So this is 600 plus 200? 800. 800. <laughs> <laughs> so, so guys, uh, we are done shopping. <laughs> and uh, there's something I saw, I don't know. What is this? Oh, lettuce. <laughs> and what is the oh this tomato? Okay, give me a change. What is this? What is happening? <laughs> you guys are very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys, stop it. <laughs> Only. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, Shukran, thank you. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Those guys are crazy. <laughs> mm. So guys, we are done shopping. So let's go and cook. So this food they grow here. This is skumawiki. Kels. You have also skumawiki here? Yeah. In Kenya we call skumawiki. Kels. Kels. Yeah, kel. <laughs> so guys, we are done with shopping. What do you want? So let's go and cook ugali. Oh. And here, here in uh, this area, people steal phones. Yeah. So I hold careful, but you are going to run for me and take my phone. <laughs> if they see my phone, you, you have bike, bicycle, you run, run very fast. <laughs> oh, where's our Bugatti? Is this is bicycle. Ah, this is our Bugatti. This is our taxi. Oh, let me carry for you. Okay. Let's go back. I'm, I'm set. All good. Today is a new day, and what you're going to do is just only sit indoors, watch movies, relax because we have a long, long upcoming journey. Um, 24 hours drive. Yeah. The next trip is 24 hours drive, so I need uh, to relax because uh, all the way from Dar es Salaam to the long way, it was too much tiresome. I spent 1,000 and 1,500 kilometers on road in the, in the last 24 hours. Not 24 hours, I like that six hours. This guy is pedaling so fast. Pedaling very fast. This guy is not starting. The long way. So, guys, uh, we are back at my crib. Yeah, this is where I'm staying. So, if you are coming to the long way and you need a very nice, comfortable place, is Avon Gardens. Them a free shout out, and I need over here. So, I give you six thousand. Okay, just hold on one second. So this is 500 and 100. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. All right, that was my taxi guy. And now we are back. I want to cook as we watch, uh, maybe I'll do a live stream on uh, uh, this match between Arsenal and Tottenham. I'm back. Yeah, yeah I have a complicated stomach. Oh. If you use something wrong or something too much, then, then I can't eat it or I'm sick. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that one. Yeah, thanks. I, I'll try, maybe you can test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just coming from the market. I see. <laughs> so, I bought some spinach. So they sell me one spinach, 200. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought they ripped me off. No, no. Spinach, we have coriander, mm -hmm. and uh, three tomatoes, 500. That one, three? Yeah, 500. Yeah, yeah, that's the price. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> And the, that one is uh, beef meat. And so this is a goat, Four. this is ugali. Four. Yeah. And uh, so this is a, let, let, let me do math, this 
800 yeah. 800 yeah. 800 uh, <laughs> I want to do it to see if I want to do a dual conversion yeah. to my country oh, so that's yeah. the 600 800 800 plus uh, 500 that is uh, 1300 yeah. plus uh, 300 that is uh, 1600 mm-hmm. so 1600 oh. and this 3000 3000 yeah half uh, kilo yeah yeah so that is the uh, 5600 total in not 1600 plus 3000 that is uh, oh. 4000 600 no and uh, this is uh, 4,600 and uh, this is uh, uh, 1,000. Oh. So total will be 1,900. No, 5,900. 5, huh? Yeah. 5,900, 5,000, that is like how much? In what? Mm, in dollars, how much? In dollars, um, it's uh, 2.90 dollars like that. Yeah, 2.2. Uh, 2. Let's say like three dollars. Yeah, three dollars. Like yeah, that. it's okay. It's, it's, it's a fair price. Yeah. So today, guys, we are going to cook. I'm going to cook this guy <laughs> Kenyan food. So where do I get the pots? Oh, the let, pots, let, let sorry, me. The pots is here. Let me get my gimbal. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. let me get my gimbal. So, guys, I'm doing this. some goat meat here. to try and raise this gimbal to let me look for something so I can raise it. What 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 <laughs> improvisation at least you guys you can see what I'm doing. Oh, you can see what I'm doing yes over there so we have a spinach
we have some uh, But you need the, this phone, the problem with your phone, yeah. it's one thing. Yeah. Uh, you need the, to clear the catch and uh, you need uh, to format, uh, to, um, it's a little bit slow because uh, you need to delete a lot of stuff, oh. unnecessary stuff. Okay. Because the memory yeah. is, too, is overloaded, so okay. uh, it sends, uh, it's sensing like uh, it's, uh, the operation system is uh, overloaded. So. Oh. Let me just cook them and show you. Yeah, yeah, you help me. So, uh, this thing is working? Yeah, I see. Um, no, no. Oh, this, uh, this is for this, and uh, this one is for this, and this oh. is for this one. Oh, yeah. So, this is put at, yeah. About at six. six. This is six. What is it, six? This zero, six, six, zero, six, six. Five. Yeah, like that. And, uh, this one is for this one. Sure. Uh, okay, thank you. Right now, I want to go outside out to buy uh, something. Okay, I'm just here, I'm not going anywhere. Alright, alright. You're just being lazy. Okay, yeah. I see. <laughs> so, now. Yeah. That is not that place. Oh my god. So okay, this one is still like that. Because I cannot see the end, so. Let me cut some onion. So my people, thanks so much for watching this channel. And uh, today, we are just indoors, not doing much. We are just indoors waiting for Arsenal versus Tottenham match. You know, Arsenal, we are going to win the Premier League this season. is going to win premium but the night is so blunt oh my god I forgot ah, this machine this machine is making too much noise So let me give you an update about uh, the journey from Nairobi uh, to Lilongwe for those who want to travel. Yeah, for those of you who want to travel, let me try and close this door. Yeah, because the machine is making too much noise. Because it's spinning uh, or laundry. So for those of you who want to travel uh, from Nairobi to the long way, let me try and see. yeah. Yes, 
for those of you who want to travel all the way from Nairobi to Lolongwe via road. This is the update. So from Nairobi, you can uh, use three ways to reach Malawi, Tanzania border. So first uh, route you can take is uh, from Nairobi to Mombasa. Mombasa, that is 1,500 shillings via train, that is a SGR. So from Nairobi to, Lilo, uh, to Mombasa is 1,500. If you take a bus, it depends which bus you are using. So for us, we took a train from Nairobi to Mombasa. We paid 1,500. Then Mombasa, we stopped for one night. One night, we stayed in Mombasa and uh, we paid uh, we paid uh, twelve dollars for guest house and uh, the following morning at around 4 a.m we left uh, mombasa to dar salaam so from mombasa to dar salaam is very near it's actually eight hours but as we took uh, i think we took uh, 10 hours because it was raining so the driver was not driving very fast uh, but during the dry season, maximum eight hours will be in Dar es Salaam. So from Nairobi to Dar es Salaam, uh, that is uh, 3,700 Kenya shillings. 3,700, that's like, uh, let's say, that's like uh, 3.5. No, 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 let's say like uh, that five US dollars, that five US dollars from Nairobi to Dar es Salaam. That is the cost. Yes, that is one way from Nairobi to Dar es Salaam via Mombasa. And uh, from uh, Dar es Salaam, you have to take a bus uh, from Magufuli bus terminals. So from Magufuli bus terminals, you can, uh, uh, from Magufuli bus terminals, you pay 61,000 uh, Tanzanian shillings up to Kasumul border. So 61 Tanzanian shilling, that's like uh, $30. All the way from Dar es Salaam to Kasumulu border. That is the border of Tanzania and uh, Malawi. Yes. Then from uh, Kasumulu, once you cross the border, the other side of Malawi now is called Songwe. Songwe border now. Now from Songwe to Milongwe is another 3,000 Kenya shilling, which is like uh, 20, let's say like $28. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's uh, route one. Route two, you can travel from Nairobi to Dar es Salaam via Tamid bus, which is 5,000 Kenya shillings. Nairobi to Dar es Salaam, 5,000 Kenya shillings, and uh, that is you pass by Arusha, no, no, uh, yeah, by Arusha, but you, you pass uh, Namanga, Namanga border, Namanga border, that's where you pass. You come via Arusha, via uh, Dodoma, via Lushoto, Bangamoyo, all the way to Dar es Salaam. Then from Dar es Salaam, you take another uh, same bus from Dar es Salaam, and fully bus terminals all the way to Kasumulu. Yeah, same price. Then there's another route you can take, which is the shortest route. You can take a bus from uh, Nairobi to Arusha, uh, which is like, uh, I don't know how much. Then from Arusha, you can take a bus from Arusha to Mbeya which is very near and uh, from there now you will take a you can take a small uh, like uh, these small buses you pay like uh, I think one dollar to the border so that's the shortest route then from the border to Lilongwe you pay again twenty dollars so that is the shortest route so you have two three routes Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam, Kasumulu uh, somewhere in long way. Second, you have Nairobi, uh, Dar es Salaam, direct, not by Mombasa, direct Nairobi to Dar es Salaam by Arusha. And we have Nairobi by Arusha up to Mbeya. 
that's the another no another route so it depends uh, which route you want to use but uh, if you are not stopping anywhere i prefer you use uh, nairobi arusha dodoma mbeya kasumulu that's the shortest route that one will take you like uh, will take you like uh, one and a half days to reach then from uh, once you reach mbeya you have to sleep for the night then the following day you can uh, the following morning and the morning you can catch the first bus to the long way yes then from uh, the long way to the next destination i'll uh, i'm trying to look for the cheapest routes so that i'll give i'll be giving an update of that in a few days okay let's continue with our cooking and uh, where is the salt or the salt here and uh, I need the uh, I need to wash this. So, all the routes depends. Uh, all the routes uh, it depends with the salmon, because uh, as we want to go to Dar Salaam, I have a tour of Dar Salaam to uh, city, and uh, yeah, actually we wanted to go to Zanzibar, then back to Dar Salaam, but uh, in Zanzibar it was too much raining. Same in Dar Salaam, it was like flooding everywhere. So we dis I decided like uh, we are just going, we do the Zanzibar next time. Yes. And uh, one thing about Malawi, from the border to Lilongwe, it's uh, 600, okay. Uh, from uh, Dar es Salaam to Lilongwe to the border is 890 kilometers. Then from uh, Songwe border, that is Kasumulu border, to Lilongwe is 615 kilometers. So from the border, the road is not good up to, until you reach a uh, uh, Kwengeni, uh, Kwengeni, something like that, a uh, Kwandeni, yeah, something like that. It's uh, the road is not good. They, are, they, they, are, they have a lot of portals, but from there all the way to Longo, the road is like smooth, smooth. So and uh, one thing about Longo now is a uh, dry season. It's uh, very dusty. There is dry season, uh, not like compared like to where I'm coming from, uh, where, where it's raining too much right now. And the uh, long way, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful city. Everyone is uh, kind, uh, everyone is so helpful. Uh, yes, but the only thing is here, in long way, there's a lot of poverty in Malawi. Actually, uh, someone just told me uh, Malawi is one of the poorest countries in the world. Not because of war, but just by nature. Yeah, it's not that developed, and uh, yeah, they are trying to develop now because they like uh, their capital city, which is Longwe. You cannot compare with like Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, or Addis Ababa. You just you can just compare like a small towns in Nairobi, like maybe Machakos, maybe like Bika. Yeah, small towns. Yeah, but anyway, they they have a very beautiful country. The weather here is good. It's not hot, actually it's like maybe 25, uh, 23 degrees, 25, maybe the air is 27 degrees in a day, it's not that hot. But during the night, it's freezing, you cannot go out, uh, you cannot sit outside without a jacket, yes. And uh, what else, what else about Malawi? Yeah, yeah, if you are coming to Malawi, uh, the only thing in Malawi, the accommodation for like uh, hotels, they are very expensive here. So like within the CBD, like uh, that the city center, that area, and the surrounding area, it's very expensive. Like the, I had to move, before I go, I go this place, 
I had to look, look, look for a lot, maybe like almost like an hour searching. Yeah, but finally I found this place is out of town. It's a, uh, I think, uh, 25, I think, I think it's a, uh, almost 20 kilometers from uh, where the town center, the, the city center is. Yeah, and the place is nice. There's a lot of tourists. Like now I have a neighbor from France. Uh, yesterday we had uh, some couples from Israel. Yeah, they are working here in Longa, but now they are traveling. They are actually they left for Lake Malawi. The day before we had uh, some volunteers uh, working in uh, Zambia. Uh, three ladies, uh, one from Spain, two from Italy. And uh, when I was checking in, I, was, I found some guys uh, from America just living the place. So it's a nice place. It's called Avon Garden Apartment. Uh, it's like kind of like backpackers. Yeah, they have like shared beds, some rooms with shared beds, uh, some private rooms. Yes. And it's, if you are a traveler, always use Booking.com because like for me, I'm getting a lot of discounts from Booking.com. So I always book via Booking.com, but I pay at the property. Yes, I pay at the property. So this one is... Uh, And uh, one thing about this place is that uh, you can buy your own food outside, you can come and cook. Yes, you can buy your own food, you can come and cook, you can uh, do your laundry with machine and pay, or you can wash your hands with, uh, you can use like manual, like washing with your hands. And uh, the place is, the, is, in, is a safe location, you can walk any day, any time of the day, like day and night. It's well secure. Actually, someone told me yesterday. I met someone. Uh, he's uh, from where? He's from where? He's from Senegal. I met a guy from Senegal. He's been here for like almost half a year because he was working here. And he told me here is the uh, Malawi is one of the safest, uh, safe, safest countries. Safe. Yeah, it's very safe because uh, in the CBD you can walk like when you are vlogging with your phone or your camera. You can walk. But no one can steal your camera or your phone. So Malawi is very secure and uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, people here are so kind. And uh, if you ask anyone any question, they will stop by and uh, they will listen to you and uh, they will try to help you in whatever way they can. So, what else, what else, what else? So today I'm just relaxing. Today I'm. I feel like uh, it's my day to relax because I have a long journey, uh, a long, uh, journey coming. I could have already left uh, today on a Sunday to my next destination because I was planning to either pass uh, Zam uh, Zimbabwe, that is Arare, or I pass by Lusaka. But, uh, but uh, I had to order a GoPro from Nairobi and uh, it will arrive after the next two days because today is on a weekend so they'll send it tomorrow on monday and uh, it will arrive on tuesday so on tuesday that's when i can leave yeah so i'm here so if in malawi you are a youtuber or you just want to hang out hit me up on my dm so you can uh, maybe uh, have a tour together walk around yeah and uh, for those of you who are watching from zambia Lusaka, Livingstone, uh, um, what do you call, uh, not Niagara Falls, uh, Victoria Falls, Arare, Arare Namibia, Windhoek, uh, Botswana, Lesotho, Eswatin, Mozambique, Maputo, Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, Soweto, all those places I'm coming soon. I'm not in a rush. Maybe I want to go back to Nairobi when the season of uh, rain is done. <laughs> So maybe I'll be traveling for the next uh, two months. Yeah, because I'm going on a low budget. So I need to go uh, slowly, 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 slowly. Then, uh, yeah. Then once we are done, uh, we are back to Nairobi. Now, Jamaica. What are going my Jamaican people? I can now visit Jamaica. Is it working? I don't feel like it's working. It's not even boiling. So that's it. 
Now let's go. Uh, I already cut my onions here, as you can see. My onions and uh, my tomatoes is done. And uh, this one is for later. I'm just waiting for the water to dry a little bit. And uh, the only thing is, uh, they don't have a. Uh, They are using an old television here so I cannot put Netflix here and watch some movies. Uh, but this is the sitting area where we normally sit and uh, have uh, some conversation with uh, other travelers. Yes. So my Jamaican people, I'm coming very soon so don't worry. Alright. Oh, so let me know from the comment section. Uh, is the video clear when I'm vlogging the, using my phone or uh, uh, what, how does it look like? Is it uh, shaky shaky or is it uh, clear? Let me know from the comment section. Yeah, because I'm not, it's my first time to use a phone uh, vlogging and I have, uh, I have something bite me here so sometimes it's a bit, bit itchy but now it's uh, almost uh, ill. Yeah, but uh, I would like to say uh, a big thank you to the new subscribers. I left Nairobi when I was uh, 4,500, now I'm at 4,700. So let's hit that uh, subscription button, notification button, like, comment, and share, please, guys. Take me to 5,000 subscribers, and uh, I'll continue giving you nice quality videos and uh, good, amazing videos. The next, uh, the next trip... From Nilongo to Nam uh, the either Zambia or Arare because I, it will depend uh, when I go to the bus buses bus station where they, they have uh, these uh, big buses going to uh, these countries I'll decide either to go via Zambia or via Lusaka uh, no or via Arare but there's a bus come uh, leaving here all the way to Cape Town. But I don't want to go like a non-stop journey. Like you go, you you reach uh, like from here to Lusaka, you stop over for uh, for one night. The following day you wake up again, you continue, you continue the journey. You just stop over for like a few hours. You rest on the bus, then you continue. That's too much tiresome, no. I just want to go, uh, I just like um, pass like Victoria Falls, uh, show you guys around. I show you beautiful places. You know the, that's the advantage of traveling via road. You see a lot. Otherwise, I could have just taken a flight, just fly to South Africa and back to Nairobi. But you guys could have not seen an amazing, an amazing uh, content that, that I'm doing. But I'm not going to Lake Malawi. I was supposed to go to Lake Malawi, but uh, but uh, what I do is what I will do is and. Uh, I will pass by when I'm heading back to Nairobi. Actually, I was supposed to fly back from Cape Town to Nairobi, but I decided I'd go back again via road. So, because uh, via road is very cheap than uh, using flight, and I can save some money for my next upcoming trip, because the next upcoming trip, I need a lot of money. Yes. And you feel like uh, you want to support this channel, let me know. Uh, you can, uh, there's a link on my channel. Uh, this a buy me coffee or if you want my details you can just DM me and uh, if you feel like supporting just like if you feel like supporting my, uh, the work I'm doing yeah so there's a much going on here is, uh, I don't understand which uh, which country I don't understand bus and a double M -W, I don't understand which teams I think the local matches Yes. So today I'm uh, I'm just sitting indoors. Oh, so let's go and check our let's go and check our food. So you see, let me show you guys. Let me show you. So this one room, someone just checked out today. This are there's a lady. She was staying in this room. And uh, each room it has its own uh, bathroom and uh, shower. Yes. 
and uh, there is this room also there's a big room two beds shared bed and uh, you have a television over there a smart tv and this is the bathroom and a jacuzzi yeah bathtub which looks like a jacuzzi yes and uh, there's another room also here this is another room that's the bathroom yes uh, there's also another room here uh, this, the, this one is uh, the bathroom is, is outside yeah here yeah. and uh, we have uh, those uh, one two three and the other side so these these ones they look actually the same. Yes. So the cook the ugali the the water is already boiled. But uh, one thing. This one is not eating up. So let me try and see this if this one is Working. So I need to recharge my energy because I don't know uh, if I live here, I don't know when I'm going to eat another good meal. Because uh, when you're traveling, you just have a uh, street food. Sometimes I don't like it. I like having homemade food. So, you cook ugali but the problem is they cannot make too much ugali because too much ugali is a little bit hard for me to make only ugali for me maybe for two three people Thank 
So guys, uh, stay tuned. I will show you the end result. Okay. So guys, uh, this is it. This is the end product of my Ugali and uh, Mutton. Yes. So thank you for watching today's vlog. And as you know, 30 already. <laughs> so thank you so much and uh, see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.